Hey everybody, it's Yuri again and I'm here with another project for home automation. This time I would like to show you how you can make your own one-wire gateway. This gateway reads the data from the one-wire devices over multiple one-wire buses and sends the data over network using UDP packets. It's for example a really cheap alternative to the Loxon one-wire extension which can be completely replaced by this project. You will need to buy an Arduino board it can be either Arduino Uno, it's definitely cheaper and smaller one. Second option is to buy Arduino Mega, which is more expensive but it has bigger memory. No matter if you decide to use Arduino Uno or Mega, you will need to get yourself an Ethernet shield. This one is based on W5100 and it fits directly on both of the boards. Installation is really simple, locate the correct pins, check that everything is aligned correctly and press it down. That's it. And absolutely the same thing is also in case you are going to use Arduino Mega. Make sure that everything is aligned properly. It's a little bit more complicated than in case of Uno. But you click it on and it's ready to be used. So this was the hardware part, really easy. Let's now focus more on the software side. As you can see, I have switched to the Arduino IDE. You will need to get the source code for this sketch. As always, it's listed in the video description, so please download it, extract it and load it in Arduino IDE. You can see that there is quite a long description about this project. Make sure to read it before you start to do anything. I will try to show the most important bits in this video. First of all, let's focus on the configuration options. You can define your one-wire buses. It's possible to have multiple one-wire buses and each of them can be either normal bus or the priority bus. Priority buses are designed to read devices like iButtons where you need to have fast reaction uh, for normal temperature readings to use the standard bus. I'm gonna use three buses on pins 5, 6 and 7 so I'm gonna define two new buses. This one will be also standard bus but the last one, I have the NFC reader connected to the bus, so I need to have it like a priority. Like this. If you will continue reading the options, you can see that there are now options related to the network settings. You can either use a static IP address or use the DHCP, which is as a standard. Your Ethernet shield will automatically get an IP address and I suppose this is probably the best way how to proceed but if you want to use static IP address uncommand this line and define the IP address to be used. The second IP address that you can configure is the IP address that will be used in case of DHCP request will go wrong. Then you can define how the data should be sent over the network. As a default the packets are sent as the broadcast on the broadcast IP address but if you prefer unicast or you have the Loxon on a different subnet, you can uncomment this line and define the IP address of your Loxon. I will leave it commented out. And then you can also define the UDP port to be used. This one is the standard one. You can change it if you want. And the last option you can define is the interval. How often should be the temperature read from the sensor? As a default, it's half a minute. You can make it shorter, longer, this is up to you. Now I would like to add few notes about the differences in the boards. Keep in mind that these modules have really small RAM. Uno has 2 kilobytes of memory, for Mega it's 8 kilobytes. Each temperature sensor you're gonna use will eat some memory. Keep this in mind. I have tested Uno with 20 temperature sensors on three one wire buses and this was working perfectly fine but I would say the limit for Uno is like 30 one wire devices. I don't count the out buttons uh, into this because they don't consume any memory. This should be the boring stuff, let's now play with the boards. We can load the sketch to the module. I am using Arduino Uno and it's connected to COM port number 5. Let's compile it. and we can load it to the module. Let's see what's gonna happen on the serial monitor. You can see that the board is booting up. It was able to get the IP address using DHCP. 
and you can see that there are already some devices on my one wire buses. I will now show you my setup. As I mentioned previously, I'm using Uno to run this test and you can see that I have connected various devices to it. My Uno is connected using 5 wires to the breadboard. Two wires are for power and ground and next three are my one wire buses. Keep in mind to always use a pull-up resistor on each of your one wire buses. It should be 4.7 kilo ohms. This is my testing breadboard. I have attached 11 DS18B20 temperature sensor and one DS2438 to it. Then you can see that I'm also using CO2 sensor which sends data as emulated DS2438. Same thing also for temperature and humidity sensor. You can see this on my channel. And last but not least there is also my NFC reader that sends data over one wire bus. Let's go back to the Arduino IDE and we can check what's happening on our one wire buses. You can see that we are receiving some data. The first one is the real DS2438 sensor I have. These four are standard DS18B20 and let's wait for another. This one is the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. This one is the MQ135 the CO2 sensor. The rest are also DS18B20. Let's try to read some NFC card. So I'm reading the first card, second and the last one. And you can see that we have really instant reaction. And all you can see on the screen is currently also being sent to the Loxon. So let's switch to the Loxon config. You have to do following steps to enable reading from the one wire gateway. Go to the virtual inputs, create new virtual UDP input. I'm gonna name it one wire gateway and the port in my case will be the one defined in the configuration file. So as a default it's port like this and I can run UDP monitor. Let's see. These are already readings from my one wire gateway. For example, this is one temperature sensor. This is the second one. This one is the real DS2438 device. This is, for example, my temperature and humidity sensor DHT22. And you can see that much more of them are being received. Let's switch to the monitor tab and we can try the NFC reading. So let's, I'm trying first card, second, and the last one. This time I will not show you exact steps that you have to do in case you want to add virtual inputs no matter if they are digital or analog. It's really the same like we did with the Xiaomi gateway. So I have already prepared my virtual inputs. Let's check them out. This one is my NFC card. You can see that it's a digital input and this is the command to be recognized. Now we can take a look on DS18B20 temperature sensor. It is this device. You have to use following command recognition. It's listed in Arduino project. You have to also use the correction because values that are sent are multiplied by 1000. And I also suggest you to set the unit. In case you plan to use DS2438 devices, you will have to create for each of them four virtual commands. First one will be for temperature. Command recognition is like this. Second is for VAD voltage third for VDD voltage and the fourth for vSense voltage. For each of them you have to use the correction and you can also set the unit for each of them. Our virtual commands for UDP input are ready so let's try to use them on the test page. This is DS18B20 temperature, this is DS2438 temperature, VAD voltage, VDD voltage and the vSense voltage. I'm gonna save it to the mini server. And we can start the live view. Also gonna run UDP monitor so we can see how the packets are received and here you go, you have all the data. I will now leave the monitors running so you can see all the traffic that is happening on our network. 
And the last thing I would like to show you is the error handling, which is integrated into this one wire gateway. If I will now, for example, disconnect one one wire bus, you will see that the gateway will start to send error packets. These can be recognized in Loxon. You can create a virtual digital input with this error call for each sensor you have, and you can log it in some tracker or send some email or SMS notification. So this is the one wire gateway. I find this project really interesting and in my setup I'm gonna use it together with Loxon one wire extension, which unfortunately became really, really slow because I was using it with nearly 20 sensors. So my plan is to move the temperature sensors to this one wire gateway and use the Loxon one wire extension just for iButtons or in my case, NFC cards. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe for future updates. See you soon!